Good afternoon, my friends. I hope all of you are having an awesome, fantastic day, and welcome back to another lifestyle video. So, I did have my doctor's appointment this last week. Everything came back great, but my doctor did say, and this goes back to my crazy diet, was I need to take in more salt and more sugar because for the last four to five weeks, not the last week or two, but I was in a pretty extreme diet a few weeks ago where I did cut out a ton of sugar. And yeah, you need to take in your sugar. You also need to take in salt. I don't think I was eating enough salt. And my doctor just said, hey, yeah, try this, try that, drink more electrolytes. So that's what I've been doing this past week. And I've been feeling a lot better. And again, I do wanna say, Thank you so much to everybody who wished me well during last week's lifestyle video. I really, really appreciate all of the love and all of the support. You guys are great. However, it is still pretty dang nasty outside regarding the heat. There's nothing that we can do about that. I do have a quick question for you guys before we get going here. What are some good TV shows or some series or documentaries or movies or anything that you guys are watching at home right now because I feel like we have ran out of things to watch and we pretty much have all of the streaming services and here we are we started to rewatch Stranger Things and The Last of Us to get prepared for opening night of HHN which is this upcoming Friday super pumped about that but if you guys can Leave us some really good recommendations down in the comments because we need some more shows to watch because we haven't found anything. But let's just get right into it. I did take some footage over the course of this past week when we were out running some errands around town and just having some fun. So I'm going to put that footage in right here, right now. And then I will see you guys back here for Cooking with Bianca because last week we kind of left you guys hanging. We just ordered some Uber Eats, but this week, we got gotcha. you. We made a quick stop inside of our favorite store, Target. We had to get some silverware. We needed a restock, a little refresh. Yeah. So this Those is are really very pretty. Nice. Threshold is a really great brand here at Target. Some zero sugar sodas. And our first cute pumpkin purchase of the season. It smells so good. Vanilla pumpkin. Oh, fun. Bianca is still not done. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Hearth and Hand collection with Magnolia, and they're absolutely beautiful pieces. So. What are you trying to say? I don't know. Are we getting some new plates? Yeah, because, you know, with cooking with Bianca. Cooking with Bianca. <laughs> we need really nice plates. <laughs> hey, it's a hit. A lot of people really do like cooking with Bianca. I know. It's hard to come up with like concept and recipes though, so I'm struggling a little bit what to make. I like the black ones, but these are I know. kind of it's like a stone color. I don't know. I'm kind of liking this. They're I a little feel bit like heavier. This though. one would look better with our kitchen, just our kitchen yeah. setup. Yeah. But I do really like the black. Yeah, I love the modern look. This is the bigger pumpkin candle we have the smaller one. Oh, look at this Nespresso. I was just about to say, Ooh, I heavy. keep seeing Nespresso <laughs> machines everywhere we go. And truth be told, I really want one. I think we need to get one, not today. Target knew what they were doing, putting this section right in the middle of the stores. <laughs> Let me tell you guys, it doesn't matter what time of the day you go to your local home goods, it's always so crowded and people are just in here loving life. I'm all for it, but dang, it's just the middle of the week and home goods is busier than Walt Disney World but right now. tell them the location though. Oh, we're Winter in Garden. Winter Garden. Yeah. That could be why. We left home goods because number one, the line was very, very long. And number two, we really didn't find what we were looking for. But next up, we are walking over to Best Buy just because. I love Best Buy and you never know what you could possibly find inside of a Best this Buy. this is the nicest one you've ever been to. Yes, this is the nicest Best Buy here in Florida that I've ever been to. And it's here in Winter Garden, which is about 15 minutes away from Walt Disney Road. It's a very nice area, but this Best Buy, they always have everything in stock. I mean, look at this place. It does not end. <laughs> They have everything here. It's crazy because now, every time I come to Best Buy or Target, they have PS5s in stock, and these were so hard to get at first. Should we do it? Just because HHN is right around the corner? I wanna 
want to play this game. It's so fun. Yeah. Hello, my old friend. If you were wondering, this is the best vlogging camera ever. It's so easy. And if you're just starting off this camera, I really recommend. This is the Canon G7X Mark II. I've used this for years and honestly, I think I may start using it again because this is just a fun camera to have. And did I mention it's very easy to use? Guys, it's a few days later. And if you watched my recent Halloween Horror Nights update video, we went to Starbucks on August 24th, yeah, which was the release of the pumpkin flavors for this year. And everywhere we went, well, the two locations I went already had sold out of the new bakery item which are the baked apple, apple croissant. croissant yeah so it's so a few days later <laughs> we went back to starbucks and guess what they had them <laughs> yes they smell amazing and i've been told if you like apple pies you're really going to enjoy this bakery item and then we got our pumpkin coffees as well wow yep they're absolutely delicious holy cow there's the inside so yeah, good. get these. I will say that apple croissant, it could have used a bit more apples, <laughs> but I mean, it was very good. Yeah. Those are dangerous. <laughs> Back at the fish store because I need to purchase some more salt water to perform a water change. I really would like a tank like this. This looks like a 120 gallon tank. I could be off by just a little bit, but Look how nice this is. There's plenty of room. That was quick and easy. Next up, we are stopping here at Bath and Body Works to check out all of their new Halloween stuff. All right, I took over the vlog. I had to show you guys this as soon as we entered. Wait a minute, they're playing the Hocus Pocus song. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at this. It holds your soap. Oh my gosh. Look how cool that is. It's a candle holder. Oh yeah. Oh gosh. Look at this. It kind of moves. Ooh, that one's cool. And then, yeah, for the wallflower. Oh my hour. gosh. I don't know why, but I really like this. That's cool. That's it's like the crystal so ball. Unique. $70. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at this one. It's like a giant candle holder. Look at the clock. More wallflowers. Okay, bath and body. This is one of my favorite scents ever. This is like a staple for me. Okay, now this is so cute. I think this is for the little hand sanitizers. Love that. Oh, now this is cute. This is like a little bath bomb holder. I didn't even know they sold bath bombs. Why the heck did we come here today? <laughs> I want it all. I know, it like, smells so good in here. This is so exciting to us, being able to decorate for Halloween and Christmas. I and know, in our new home. In our new home. <laughs> we have to buy a lot because we have so much room this year. I know. Sink your teeth into something spooky. It's back, vampire blood. Wow. Look at Bath and Body Works doing this now. Refills for hand soap. I like that. This one is champagne toast. And what's this one? Crisp morning air. That's a popular like that one. one. Yeah. I like the yeah. What did you find, babe? Found another one called sweet whiskey. Of course. And it smells amazing. <laughs> I may have to grab this one too. I like the color of the bottle too. Yeah. One of my favorites is white pumpkin. A gentle scent, but it's perfect for the fall season. Oh, you found one. <laughs> I know. You have to get one more now. Well, we found our fifth soap kitchen mandarin. And then because the candles are on sale, we are getting white pumpkin because this is Bianca's favorite. <laughs> I wish this it would is, focus. That's what focusing. it looks like. There you go. This is the only time we buy candles here because they're on sale. Yes. So when they are on sale, stock up. Look how cool they have a gentleman photo back here. Can you guys see that? Wow, look at all this. It's like a black widow with cobwebs. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. I like that one. Like blood dripping. Oh my also, gosh. I have to put you guys on to another scent. <laughs> This one is my favorite. Yes. It smells like laundry, like fresh laundry, and it just yes. reminds me of kind of like a vacation because yes. you know when you go on vacation, you do a lot of laundry, and then when you come back from va vacation, <laughs> you do even more laundry, and it just reminds me yes. we're going on vacation. Sun-drenched linen, that's what it's called, and it smells so good. Yeah, we did some damage, but I did have a 25% off coupon, and I only paid $42 for 
two candles and five different soaps. Okay, we made it back home and we wanted to do a quick mini grocery haul of some of the items that we got today because we did go to a few different stores. <laughs> We got some yellow onions, we got some sazon, we got some 100 calorie dipped pretzels. They looked really good. Yeah. <laughs> some apple juice, some almond milk, we got mild cheddar shredded cheese, we got some chicken breasts, we got the egg roll wraps, if you guys can kind of figure out what I'm going to be cooking tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> some pure Irish butter from Aldi, we got some sour cream, green grapes, we got ground beef, some Worcestershire sauce, we got French toast sticks, stuffed jalapenos yeah. from Aldi. These are really good. And two ground chickens. And then we have our Bath and Body Works stuff. It was a good day. Yes. I'm up in my office right now checking my emails and I just saw that two of you guys use my referral code to purchase your new Tesla. So congratulations and thank you for using my referral code because that helps me out like it helps you out so thank you thank you thank you if you are looking into purchasing any tesla or even solar panels or if you want to schedule a test drive i will leave my referral link or code down in the description below please use my code if you would like to because it gets you perks and it gets me perks so right now bianca is working on mine because yes. i'm trying my best not to eat red meat right now <laughs> She is using the ground chicken for mine. Yes. I just tried it. It's amazing. <laughs> right here I have everything for the cheeseburger egg rolls. I have ground beef. I like to get lean ground beef, but you know, you can get whatever you want. I have a chopped onion, pickles, water for the egg rolls, like once I assemble them. I've got some salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, the Worcestershire, olive oil to cook the beef in mild cheddar shredded cheese, and some ketchup. I'm gonna be using all of these ingredients for the cheeseburger egg rolls. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put the burner on. I'm putting it about high, medium. Put some olive oil on the pan. Then we are gonna put our yellow onion in here. Give that a nice saute. Cook them down till they're like translucent and then we'll add the ground beef. How I'm going to fry these egg rolls, I'm not gonna deep fry them this time, I'm actually gonna air fry them and it even says on the packaging that you can air fry them. Bake them, deep fry, pan fry, all that stuff. But I'm, I'm gonna use my trusty Ninja air fryer. It's my tried and true. The onions are now a translucent color. Just go ahead and make some space. We're gonna put the ground beef in. Awesome. Now I wanted to mention to you guys, this isn't really a quote unquote recipe. I'm just kind of making this with, like there's no measurements or anything. It's just kind of like whatever your heart desires. <laughs> so I do apologize in advance. This is, like I said, I showed you guys all the ingredients and this is how I'm making my cheeseburger egg roll. So you can just kind of follow along with me. I'm breaking down the ground beef. I did have to drain this just a bit just to get some of those juices out from the oil and the onion and the beef itself. And now we're gonna start adding our ingredients like our garlic powder, salt and pepper, and the Worcestershire in the mix. All right, we have our garlic powder. Give it a nice little season. You're just eyeballing it. Yeah, right? I really am. <laughs> Pepper, I'm gonna use the fresh ground pepper. A little bit of salt, not too much. Then a little bit, I'm gonna do like a teaspoon. I am gonna measure this one out. The strong is the Worcestershire sauce. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but. Oh well. It, it is what it is. <laughs> this stuff's really good for burgers. Yeah. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add the pickles. There you go. Oh yeah. I didn't want to add too much pickle juice because I didn't want the pickle juice to overpower the taste of the cheeseburger egg rolls. Right. So I just chopped up some pickles and now we're gonna add the mild cheddar shredded cheese. Just all one, we're all gonna mix it. I even add a little bit of ketchup to give that cheeseburger taste. And next I'm gonna add the cheese now. All right, I got about a handful of the cheese. Do another one, why not? load it up and we're gonna let that get all melty and delicious and then we're gonna prep our egg rolls we're doing the cheeseburger egg roll process i'm learning as i go so this is kind of trial and error so i have my egg roll paper a little bit of water we're gonna water all four sides like so 
this will make it stick. And then I have like a tablespoon measuring. And then we're gonna put about two tablespoons of the ground beef in total. Oh gosh. Like I said, trial and error. <laughs> we're learning together. <laughs> Bianca did go ahead and start my I did, the ground chicken, chicken. Ones. I did. So we're gonna fold the corner over and then Guys, like I said, I don't. I am learning as I go, folding these You're two corners. You're doing great, babe. Pushing. You can't be perfect. <laughs> I'm no chef. Time. I'm no chef. All right. That's our first one done. Very simple. Very easy. And just like that, let's do another one together. I learned that doing it like diagonal is helping me. Looking good. Yeah. Let's do one more together. I don't want to put too much, but I don't want to put too little, so. Yeah. Like I said, I'm learning. And I will be like making all of this and I'll just freeze it. Yeah, that's too much. <laughs> <laughs> Getting ahead of myself. All right, so I'm gonna fold the corner in, fold this to the side, fold this to the side. And nice. Then, and these are the vegan ones, so they're like eggless. So I really hope that that doesn't matter. That's the only ones we can know, find right? out of all of the stores we went to today. Shoot. No one had these except Publix. Nice and tight. There you go. My air fryer just beeped, so it's done. These were the chicken cheeseburger egg rolls. Oh my oh goodness. Oh my goodness, they look so yeah. delicious. Look at that. So I used the exact same recipe that I did for the beef, I did with the chicken. Last step is I did brush olive oil on each egg roll and then I'm putting it in the basket. But yeah, very simple. How long is this going to take, do you think? So I put it in Not the- Not too long. No, about 10 minutes in the air fryer on about 375. What about the entire- setup process before you put them in hmm. the air fryer because you got it done pretty quick and i did two different meats i did chicken and beef yeah. uh, i would say give or take less than 45 minutes the prep time you want to get them really coated though since i'm not deep frying them you still want to have like that right like that brown color i mean look at these i i, mean, I can't believe they look like that we didn't deep fry them that was you know? the first time I first know, go the first batch wow babe once again i am so impressed thank you these are my chicken ones and then bianca does have a recipe for the burger sauce i found it online basically big mac <laughs> sauce right kind of like way. a take on it yeah and then there's Bianca's, which came out great. I know, with the, the beef. beef ones. We're gonna cut them in half so you guys can see it. And here's what the inside looks like. Look at the final product, you guys. Those are the beef ones. Yes, and then we have the chicken. Really yummy. Oh, man. With that burger sauce. Yeah. Cannot wait. Let's give them a try. I am so stuffed. That was delicious. I do have to confess something real quick. <laughs> what? I do like the cheeseburger spring rolls at the Magic Kingdom because these are kind of what they are based off of, but mm -hmm. these are more egg rolls than spring rolls. Yeah. They are good, but I really like the cheeseburger egg rolls at Cheesecake Factory. I think those are amazing. And these cheeseburger egg rolls tasted just like those from Cheesecake Factory. Yeah, so they're once comparable, again, yeah. You knocked it out of the park. <laughs> wow, try these at home and it was pretty simple because I was in the kitchen watching Bianca do her thing. And man, I love our air fryer. Holy cow. <laughs> really like the chicken ones. Did you like the secret sauce? Secret sauce was very good. Again, it's kind of like a Big Mac sauce, but yeah. no pickles or in, just, or in it. Well, what I really loved about yours, babe, mm -hmm. is I know you really didn't add too much pickles and pickle yeah. juice, mm -hmm. but it still had that flavor in there. Yeah. And Everything just worked very well together. I really liked how you put the shredded cheese in there too and you yes. just mixed everything up. It was a lot easier to put into the egg roll wrap. I mean, I don't know what the beef ones tasted like, but my chicken ones pretty much tasted identical to the beef ones at Cheesecake And Factory. they're filling too. I know. Packed with protein. We have, look. I know. We still have so many more. These I are know. half chicken, half beef. I think they're more beef. But yeah, we have leftovers. I'll take it. Yay. It's dinner time for the gang. This evening, I am feeding them brine shrimp. There you guys go. 
Yeah, that's the good stuff. They love brine shrimp. I still cannot get rid of this annoying brown algae. That's the stuff you are seeing on some of the equipment and then also on the sand. I think I'm just going to have to do a pretty big water change, which I am going to do over the weekend to hopefully get rid of it. And then my bird's nest coral, it's still pulling through. It could look a lot better, but it's hanging on. We'll see what happens, but everybody else is doing very well. Good morning. It is now the next day. Dinner was so dang delicious last night that once we sat down, we put on a movie and we both fell asleep. That is how good dinner was last night, thanks to Bianca. But now that it's the next day, it is a weekend. We're really not doing anything today because we need to take care of some things around the house. We need to do some cleaning. This morning, I did bring down the Halloween decorations. Now, we're not going to put out the Halloween decor just yet because it is still pretty dang early. We're actually going to put out things little by little until October 1st. But you know, living here in Central Florida, being around Disney and Universal, it's just what it is. We tend to celebrate holidays a lot earlier than everybody else. And that's okay because when it comes to Halloween and Christmas, we love these two holidays, especially Halloween, so we don't mind it. Another thing that I did this morning was I reorganized our pantry and I think I did a pretty good job. Let me show you. One thing that we love about this townhome is the size of this pantry because it's huge and it's nice to have so much room. That's all of my fitness stuff and vitamins. It's just nice that everything is organized and put away. I mean, look at the space. I love it. We still have plenty of room to add more things, but yeah, it's just nice to be organized and it's all clean. I did receive a bit of a surprise this morning. My new shoes arrived two days earlier than expected, which is awesome. I really needed a new pair of shoes because I walk around the theme parks nonstop and I do a lot of activity and I cannot recommend Yeezys enough. These are beyond comfortable. They're such a great shoe. They last forever. I highly recommend a pair of Yeezys if you can get your hands on them. If not, I really like the Adidas Ultra Boost as well. I did want to mention, I really appreciate all of the great feedback from last week's video regarding my new generator and everything that I need for the generator. Like a lot of you told me to get a bigger gas can, which I did. And then I got a longer extension cord. I got some fuel stabilizer, another outlet. I still need to get a extension cord for the refrigerator. And a lot of you told me to get a Hornet brand extension cord, which they have them at Sam's. I just need to go back and purchase one, but it's still here in the garage. I haven't started to prep it just yet. I'm going to continue to store it in the garage. And then I did want to mention, I do know when I need to run the generator that it needs to be at least 15 to 20 feet away from the house. I know that. Thank you for letting me know. I got it all taken care of. I also did purchase a lock online. It hasn't been delivered just yet, but that's another thing a lot of you told me to get in last week's video was a lock for the generator. That way nobody can steal it. And then regarding my new outlet to charge the Tesla, it's been working absolutely fantastic this past week. It's been charging the Tesla in just under three hours. So it's charging a lot faster. And I know not to remove this adapter because I did read a few comments saying, Dev, make sure you do not remove the adapter from the outlet. I know that, again, I have it covered and it's been working great. I'm so happy that I can charge a lot faster at home. And I've been noticing since I've installed this this past week, my electric bill has already went down even more. Also this morning, I woke up to another surprise because I got my first Tesla major update and it's kind of like Christmas morning when you wake up, you look on your phone and you see a notification from Tesla saying there is a new software update available. Kind of like how an update happens with your iPhone. Same thing happens to the Tesla and most of the time with these software updates, you get some really cool new features. One of those cool updates was for FSD full self driving. So I'm very eager to see how full self driving works on this new update, because as I've been saying week after week, it just continues to get better over time and it continues to impress me the more I use FSD. All right, my friends, I am going to go ahead and let you guys go. I know it was a shorter lifestyle video, but again, 
We really didn't do too much this last weekend. We got a lot done around the house. I just got done doing a pretty big water change on the saltwater reef tank. Hopefully that will solve my annoying brown algae outbreak. I've been doing a ton of research and I've tried many different things and hopefully this will resolve this issue, but it is what it is. I'm just happy that every thing living inside of that tank is doing very well and is very healthy. We had some fun running around town the other day. We had fun inside of Bath and Body Works. We got a lot. We're already starting to decorate for Halloween and HHN opening night is this, this upcoming Friday. I cannot believe it. I want you guys to know that I really appreciate all of the love and support and you guys watching these lifestyle videos because they are really fun to make. They're a lot easier to make and I just get to be myself and I'm very thankful for that. And thank you so much for watching and the continued support. If you enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up as it really does help out the channel in so many different ways. I love you guys so much. Please remember, it's nice to be nice in YouTube. I'll see you in the next video. Prince Charming, out.